Okay, so TIFF is over, and I'm just about to give you my final two reviews. So, the first movie I saw today was called Pioneer. It was a Norwegian film, and I was much anticipating this for the main reason being that <clears throat> one of my new favorite actors, a uh, Norwegian actor named Axel Henny, was in it, and I really, really like Axel Henny. He's awesome. Not only is he gorgeous and just wonderful to behold, but he's a great actor. I really, really like him. Uh, so this movie was directed by a Norwegian guy named Eric, please forgive me, Skjoldbjerg. Forgive me if I butchered that, which I'm sure I did. Um, but anyway, so the plot of the movie is, this is about a pipeline, <clears throat> an underwater pipeline, that was um, due to be built in Norway in the 1970s, like 500 feet below sea level, 500 feet underwater. Uh, it's, I believe it's the, the deepest pipeline that, that was ever conceived to be constructed. And it was going to make like everybody billions and billions of dollars. As a matter of fact, I think at the end of the movie it said that this pipeline, once it was constructed, uh, it ended up making Norway the, the wealthiest country in the world or in Europe. I'm not sure. Definitely in Europe. I don't know about the world. <clears throat> but anyway, so there's a lot at stake for this pipeline. So this movie was about when the whole thing was just kind of getting going, and they had to send these divers down this 500 feet to, uh, you know, assemble this, this pipeline to put it together. And Axel Henny played one of the divers in the Norwegian crew. There was two crews. There was a Norwegian crew and there was an American crew. And I believe the American crew was there for their expertise or technological expertise or whatever. So, at the beginning of the movie, they're going through all this, like, rigorous uh, testing. They're in these pressure chambers to get them, like, acclimated to being, like, so deep underwater. Um, very educational, this movie. Uh, I d had not even heard of decompression sickness before, but now I have uh, because of this movie. So, apparently, when you've been underwater for any length of time, I'm guessing, you have to stay in a, in a in, I guess, in a special depressurized or pressurized chamber before you can leave uh, and just go back to uh, like being on the on solid ground um, or else you're going to get sick you're going to get this decompression sickness and I think it was like two weeks or something these guys had to had to be I guess isolated or quarantined in, in this uh, in this tank but anyway so like I said when the movie begins they're they're going through all this stuff all these uh, tests and then they take a trial run and Axel and his brother are like two of the divers that are on this Norwegian team and they get sent down first and I'm telling you some of the scenes in this movie were so friggin incredible like the, like the first underwater scene where they send this thing down it's called the bell where they have like I don't know I think three or four divers in this in this like little tank and they send them all down to like the ocean floor and I mean, it was just spectacular. This uh, these these underwater scenes. Um, so anyway, the first time they go down, everything is going right at first, and then they go into this pipe, and something happens. Um, like, okay, so they're, they these divers when they're when they get in this pipe, there's this gas that's released, I guess, to for them to be able to <clears throat> breathe properly underwater. And something in this gas causes Axel to black out momentarily or something. And then all this water rushes in and his brother ends up being killed. His brother ends up being, I guess, drowned, killed. Uh, they get him to the surface, but they can't revive him. So he spends the rest of the movie trying to figure out what happened. Like, because he knows it wasn't his fault. He blacked out due to the gas or whatever. So he's trying to figure out what was in this gas... Um, you know, they're saying it was his fault that he released this valve too soon or something. And so the, the whole movie, basically, he's running around trying to solve this mystery. And he's going to all these different people. He's going to the head of the American team, who was played by um, American actor Stephen Lang, who I really like a lot. He's really good. And there was another uh, American actor in this movie who was in American Beauty. I don't have his name, but I really like him as well. He, was, he, was, he played a guy on the American crew. And he was really good. He played this really kind of tough, tough guy. But 
So, okay, so overall, did I like this movie? It was so-so. I liked the uh, the underwater stuff. It was very exciting, very uh, tense, very beautiful to watch. Beautiful, to, like, awesome to watch. But the rest of the movie where he's, like, kind of running around and trying to figure out what's going on and, and who's covering stuff up, and because this becomes apparent as he tries to look into what happened with his brother's death. People are hiding shit. People are covering stuff up, and he's, and he's trying to, you know, find out what happened. And uh, so there's, and this guy has, I mean, nine lives. I mean, this guy comes close so many times, uh, you wouldn't believe it. And, uh, you know, he, he always manages to get out of these really sticky situations. So, you know, like a lot of high drama, a lot of tension, but it was just like, there was too much going on, and it was kind of hard to follow. Um, so, you know, other than watching Axel, which I will always enjoy, I know that, um, the movie didn't really work overall for me. It was definitely, you know, not a bad movie. It was okay, but it was just kind of hard to follow, and so, like the, it was also kind of bland. Other than the underwater scenes, which were spectacular, uh, the rest of the movie it was very, it always looked like it was overcast, it always looked like kind of dull, um, I don't know, it, it just, I don't know how to, how to, um, how to explain that, um, I mean it was, it took place in I guess this seaside town in, in Norway, um, where maybe it's cloudy a lot of the time, it's overcast a lot of the time, it's kind of dull outside, and it really looked that way through the whole movie, like, you know, it was a dark movie, a dark, a darkly shot movie, anyway. But, you know, yeah, uh, other than Axel Henney, uh, I, I really can't say that I, I enjoyed this movie too, too much. It was okay, exciting at times, um, interesting to a certain extent, I mean, the whole, you know, pipeline thing and that and and his trying to figure out what happened to his brother yeah that part of it was interesting but it just it was it was too hard to follow like, there's this other guy who was the uh he was a politician or um you know some real big wig and he was like really you know you could tell he was like you know one of these really corrupt kind of guys who's hiding a lot of shit and you know axel doesn't trust him axel doesn't trust anybody because everybody in in this in this movie was like had all these hidden agendas and was hiding stuff and covering stuff up so there was a lot of intrigue yeah you know, like a lot of intrigue but it was hard to follow so you know i would give this movie a so so i would give it one of these axel always a thumbs up for him because i'm really a big fan of his i really really like him looking forward to seeing him in many many more films and it's it's no wonder to me why he's Norway's biggest star because he's great really really like him um, but other than that uh, you know I can't I can't really rave about this movie too much so that is my review of Pioneer and I will be back with my final review of Oculus in a moment hope you watch and thank you for watching this okay bye